Going on YouTube, Clover Bells here, back with another Scarlet Violet video, and today we're going to be showcasing our Defiant Grass Ogre Pond uh, in some Rank Ladder games. So this is one of our five rentals for the month of March. Uh, so, you know, I, we're getting towards the end of the month, so I wanted to at least showcase this at least once. So this way, you know, you get to see how this one plays. I like it a lot, uh, mainly because we, we don't really get too many opportunities to showcase regular Grass Ogre Pond, but... You know, with a set like this, with Stomping Tantrum and Follow Me, along with the Straight Grass Ivy Cudgel, uh, it can actually do a lot, okay? And again, you know, it's also going to be fast when you do Terrastalize it, right? And when you don't Terra it, it's a good Defiant Pokemon against stuff like Incineroar, uh, so then you can get an Attack Boost, and then from there, uh, deal tons of damage to things not named Incineroar, for example, right? Um, we also have a, an Ogre Pond set over here that's a little bit different than our normal bulky set. We've got Throat Spray Ferrigraph with Hyper Voice. So now, all of a sudden, the Frograph can start doing a lot of damage, right? We always have the Trick Room stuff. You know, you get Psychic Mono Stab, and then Hyper Voice, um, after the second turn, will start doing some good damage, right? So, um, Helping Hand, of course, makes everything do more. But again, Trick Room, good speed control. Um, the rest of the team can definitely use it, uh, especially against uh, Tailwind stuff, right? Then from there, we've got Incineroar, very standard Incineroar set with Terra Ghost Safety Goggles. Nothing else needs to be said. Intimidate, Fake Out Pressure is always going to be good to set up that Trick Room. Uh, then over here, we've got Urshifu Surging Strikes with the Choice Scarf. So, you know, outside of Trick Room, it's going to outspeed different things like Fluttermane, for example, uh, and just deal a ton of damage immediately. Terra Water, of course, if you want a little bit more damage. Uh, but, of course, Fake Out with Incineroar and Surging Strikes is always going to be busted just because you can't protect in front of it. Uh, and if you switch out, something is going to be taking Surging Strikes, uh, something that's not named Ogre Pond Wellspring. Then to make the Urshifu do even more damage, we've got Chen Pao on the team. More priority stuff. Again, Ice Spinner to be able to blow up terrain. Sucker Punch and Sacred Sword. Very standard Chen Pao set with a Focus Sash over here. And then finally, we've got Raging Bolt. Uh, again, a very slow ro Raging Bolt, but again, a, a slow but bulky, modest set. Going to do a lot of damage. And what's different about this Raging Bolt? It's Terra Electric. Okay, so it's going to do a lot of damage with Magnet. Uh, the two electric stabs of Dragon Pulse and Protect. And I do want to say that this was the this is this six was inspired by a player named Alt Kyle. So Alt Kyle's been using the six a little bit. Um, not uh, of course not the same EVs, not the same sets, but more or less the same six. And it intrigued me, so that's why I built the team in the first place. I thought it was a pretty good solid squad to try and use Defiant Ogre Pond Grass. Uh, so hence. Uh, Hence why we have it here today. All right, so hopefully we can get some cool wins with Ogre Pond Defiant today. The Grass Ogre Pond. I don't know how else you want to call this thing. Uh, but without wasting any further time, let's just go straight into the rank battles. Okay, we got Indy Iron Crown stuff. And we got Dragonite. No Chen Pao. There is Incin. There is Fluttermane. Uh, there is an Urshifu. Don't know if it's water. Uh, duh, 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 duh. So... How do we want to do this? Well, we do have Chen Pao. Problem is, there is Intimidate on his side. So he could definitely bring Incineroar. Um, but if he does that, then we have this guy. So I kind of want to just do this. Okay, and then, what do I want in the back? I could use Raging Bull. Um, there is a Flutter main. I do have Choice Scarf Urshifu, which could actually be pretty good. Uh, in the in the end game potentially, especially against Fluttermane, maybe against Incin, stuff like that. I think I want to do this, and you know, again, terrain could go away. Uh, all things considered, then I also have my own Dark type against something like Fluttermane, ideally. I do have Throat Spray Furry Graph, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. Um, all things considered, so I think we just go with the boys here. Leave the the, the stuff behind here. It's a tough bring, right? We bring Raging Bolt. Oh, we timed out. All right, well, you know, I don't know why I changed my mind at the end. That's just uh, on me. So we're just gonna rock with the four that, that, uh, that with that. Cause like I clicked the A button twice and then it brought me to the withdraw button. It's like, oh shoot. And now I'm definitely not gonna make it. All right, we'll make it work. We'll make it work, chat. Let's see what we got. Okay, he's got Ursh and that thing. Okay, so still fine. Uh, again, I can redirect a lot of things. So you you know he's got Indeedee in the back, for sure, 100%. You know there's an Indeedee there. All right, it's special attack, so that's interesting. Uh, we have our own Ursh, we have Raging Bolt too, so we can technically wall a lot of different things. Um, 
And then this is actually the Water Earth, so that's good too. Uh, I could just Terrestrialize right now and outspeed everything. Uh, I don't think he wants to uh, swap in D&D &D just yet. If he does, cool. That is going to be funny. Uh, but I think we just pressure. Right? If he wants the Expanding Force, he can Expanding Force. I do have Stomping Tantrum here available to me. So... I kind of want to just outspeed him, right? Go for the Ivy Cudgel here. Let's go into the Ursh. And let's Ice Spinner this thing, just in case he brings out the Indeedee here. Alright. No Indeedee. So, that means this Urshifu is free for the taking. Alright, unless he also terrestrializes the, the other thing, but we'll see what he does. Alright, so... In body aspect, we get a speed boost. Okay, he protects that thing. All right, that's very interesting. I don't know why he did that, but we get to bop the Urshifu on the head. So this is good for us. A yeet! There we go. So that's nice. All right, so now this is probably where Indeedee might come in. I, you know, pretty good turn one play, right? We already removed the Urshifu straight. That's good. That removes Incineroar's threat, which is what we have in the back. Is it Indeedee? And then is there like Fluttermane perhaps, right? So now that, so now that he knows I got a little speed boost here, how do you boost this thing's speed? Okay. Do you bring the Indeedee now? Okay. What is What comes out here? All right. And it is Incineroar. So now you just gave me a boost. So that's good for me. All right. All right, so I, I like, I like that. Well, technically no, because I already terrestrialized, so I don't get a boost. So, in that sense, uh, I am minus one now, right? So, that's that's still fine. You know, again, I can always switch it out and go into my own Incineroar. I can protect the Chen Pao ideally, right? So, I can even go into my own Urge, but maybe not just yet. So, here's what I want to do. I still want to click Spiky Shield here. I can also click Stomping Tantrum. I don't really need the Ogre per se at this moment. I do want to still try and hit this slot here. And let's protect this thing. All right, let's see if he fakes out here. Okay, the protect comes out. Because he wants to not fake out the Ogre Pond, right? Okay, he didn't even click fake out actually. So that's also very interesting enough. So is he just scoring raw flare blitz? Oh, attack and cutter. Okay, so he was just going straight for the champ out here. No fake out, by the way. Uh, what do we do? Oh, it's just you turn. Oh, is this indeed time? We do live, by the way. We do live. Is there indeed? Again, we do have our own Urshifu man, and we got some good chip damage on that that thing over there. There it is. There is the indeed. Okay. So, very important, we want to remove the, the terrain, ideally, right? And he has to redirect, right? So, you know, if he kills the Ogre Pond now, that's totally fine. Let's, uh, let's again, pin that slot with an Ivy Cudgel, potentially. I could even switch the Ogre Pond here. I can go into my own uh, Raging Bolt here, but I don't think I need to do that. I just need to blow up the terrain, right? And just make sure that it's done. So, I'm going to let... Uh, he might protect here. I'm going to force this thing to, to come back out here. So, uh, let's technically do that. Uh, I still want to go for my strongest attack here, right? And still blow him up. All right. Yeah, there is a following. That's fine. I just need to remove the Indeedee, or at least blow up the terrain here. All right, so Ivy Cudgel coming out here. We are minus one, so let's see if this is enough to remove the Indeedee here. It's going to be close. Oh, never mind. Chimpow should be able to pick this up. All right, Ogre Pond loses health. Size spinner, so this is fine. If he goes tack in cutter, then the the Chien Pao will go down. That's fine, right? But then the Ogre Pond lives. And if he goes expanding force, Chien Pao lives. So what, what's it gonna be? All right, blow up the terrain. And it's just tack in cutter, that's fine. That's okay. All right, because Incineroar's coming back in, but again, we have um, Surging Strikes. He can technically fake out, so I do wanna keep that in mind. So, because of that, I'll just go into Raging Bull here. I'll go into Bolt. And, you know, he can't really do a whole lot at this point. Um, and again, if he wants to fake out, 
can fake out, but you know, like I, I'm not gonna protect this thing. I actually want the ogre pond to die, you know, all things considered. So if anything, uh, let's see, what can I do here? Like uh, expanding force is not gonna do. I, I just want to get like some damage here, and I'll protect this thing. I don't think it's even necessary. I still just want to get raw damage. Um, into the the Incineroar or even just this thing over here, right? Just just keep pinning this slot. So, I mean, he protects. That's fine. But what are we doing with the Incineroar? Is it just straight parting shot? Is it is it U-turn? If you kill this thing, I'm bringing the Ursh. Okay. So there's the protect and no fake out either, by the way. So one would have to imagine what's coming out here. <clears throat> it is U-turn, so that's good. That actually works out better for me. Um, because now we go into the Urshi Brew and now we're just chilling. And he, he just clicks the forfeit button at this point. Uh, so yeah, that, that's good for me. Alright, here we go. Alright, here's the Ursh. Alright, Surging Strikes into Incin. Um, I don't remember, did he use Terra? Did he use his Terrestrialization yet? Um, can't remember. We removed the Ndidi and we removed the Urshi. I don't think he terra yet. Um, okay, if he didn't Terra, he didn't Terra, but we can just remove this. <clears throat> okay, um, just Surging Strikes over here, and again, just, just Raw Thunderbolt over here. That should take him out. It, it could have even uh, Thunderclapped over there, right? Because we're Magnet, we have good damage. There's the Ensign. Okay, it's Terra Fairy. So he'll probably live now, but that doesn't really help him in the grand scheme of things, right? Like he's gonna live now, okay? But I believe Thunderbolt Magnet is more than enough to remove the Raging Bolt here, okay? Uh, there's just raw expanding force. All right, Urshifu does go down actually. So that's, that's pretty cool, I guess. Okay, so here's Thunderbolt here. Yep, there we go. So I guess what I could have also considered, like I didn't actually think it would uh, tear the Incineroar, but he did. I could have even just Surging Striked uh, the other thing, right? Well, I mean, he removed my Magnet, but that's not enough damage. Uh, we're, we're, we're still too strong, so we're just raw Thunderbolt here. Um, he can try. Valkov is going to be good damage, but again, just the power of T-Bolt. Yeah, it's more than enough. Now we just... Uh, he does activate Citrus. He's, he's keeping himself in this. Um, Alright, so there's the Citrus. Um, oh, Darkest Lariat. What? Wait, Knockoff and Darkest Lariat? Wait a second. What the heck are we doing? <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I think I think we just do this. Yeah, yeah, this should just clean up the Incin from here. That was interesting. Wow, double Dark move. You never see that on Incineroar. It's either one or the other, or none, right? They just run wool of us these days. So, GG's to our opponent. Okay, we timed out, didn't really matter, we made it work. Playing against Mono, <laughs> bro. Uh, by the way, I know I said we, we quote unquote timed out, but we actually didn't, because otherwise I would've just led for a grab instant, but I didn't. Um, so we live with what we wanted that game. All right, anyway, different game, Moltres is here. We like Moltres. That's the last of our rentals that we have to feature. And a top cut of tournaments, so stay tuned for that. Uh, he also has this idea with Cresselia. Okay. Then he's got Sableye over here. Huh. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if I want to bring Furgraph here. <laughs> I mean, I could. I could. He's got he's got the, the Arcanine again. Uh, and then, just like, Surging Strike. I could even do just do, like, Fake Out Surging Strike stuff. Or even like Chen Pao Ursh, that kind of thing. Uh, like my own Incin, right? My own Incin looks pretty good. All right, I could do Furry Graph, Throat Spray stuff, right? All things considered. Uh, I can't even do priority moves actually. So let, let's do it like this. Let's do Furry Graph Incin, right? Let's throw off the Throat Spray tech. Uh, and then in the back, we can have Raging Bolt everything and then maybe just the life orb ogre pond too right actually we'll just do it like this yeah i want chen pao over there just in case switch it in 
and just do some damage. I have a Sash. Ice type against a flying type and a grass type. Might as well. So I don't know if this was the break, but we're gonna we're gonna consider. Alright. What do we got? Priscilla Sableye. Wow. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if I like it. But if this is Calm Mind Cresselia, I'm not gonna be happy. I would love to fake out this Cresselia. And I would love to click Throat Spray. I mean, uh, quote unquote, Hyper Voice. And just deal like massive damage already. Right? Break the Sableye Sash too, right? I, I would just love to do quote unquote, Hyper Voice. But it, that's not how it works. Uh, this is not Sylveon. Um. I don't want to do this. I am actually dumbfounded. All right, but he can't really click priorities with the Sable Lies, so I'm still going to click Hyper Voice just to try and deal some damage. Okay. Okay, Fake Out comes out into the Crest. All right, there's the Reflect. Okay, I mean, he gets up his physical screens. Thunder Wave, okay. So he paired my Insign. Not a huge problem. Alright, and we're gonna go for the Hyper Voice here. So now... Now we get some plus damage. Now he's probably gonna click Light Screen, for example. Uh, I don't want... I don't know what he has there, but I'm just gonna click Knock Off anyway. Okay. And I could even Helping Hand Knock Off, but... I also just want to click Psychic here. Oh, that's actually a really good lead, like Sableye. Like, I can't really actually click any of these moves. And if this was um, the other thing, then we're, we're in trouble here. Uh, I mean, I'm still click Hyper Voice here. Like, this is still gonna do damage. If he wants to click Light Screen, he can click Light Screen. There is gonna be a Terra. Is it Terra Fairy? It is probably Terra Fairy. There's the Terra Fairy. But I'm more concerned with removing the item that the Cresselia has. So, see what he's got here. There's the light screen. So, screen stable. Why not just use Grimstone? Isn't Grimstone just better? All right. Yeah, it is Calm Mind. Of course. Of course. It's Calm Mind Cresselia. So, here we go. Here we go. All right. So, Hyper Voice should do a little bit more damage. But again, he did get his screens up. That's doing no damage. Never mind. Knock off. What are we removing? Okay, and it is the Covert Cloak. Ah, that's right. I should have seen that when he clicked um, that thing. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to Parting Shot. And um, I can technically click Psychic now. So I can do this. Same lies not. <laughs> we're, we're in a little bit of an issue. Oh, wow, he's switching. I could have Hyper Voiced. But what is he going into? It's Arcanine. Well, that could have been a good Hyper Voice target. All right, we're going to Parting Shot right out of here. I just want to do a little bit more chip into Cresselia. Another Calm Mind. All right, so now he's quote-unquote plus two, but we're going to neuter his attack damage. Again, back to plus one. All right, Psychic Damage. A little bit of chip. Again, he is Calm Minding. I can't because I was paralyzed. That's unfortunate. He has Rock Slide Pressure. Not great. I do have Raging Bolt now. But the problem is the rock slide stuff i could terra here terra goes i don't want to die in a rock slide i can parting shot i can still you know quick stuff the crest is put is 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 plus two so that's that's unfortunate i think i want to just preserve the ensign let's go into raging bolt here i mean i'm gonna take some rock slide damage and let me click trick room Okay. Here we go. Alright, Raging Bolt comes out. Yeah, there's the Rock Slide damage. Decent chip. Raging Bolt's able to tank that. There's Lunar Blessing. That's fine. We knew that was coming. Alright. Alright, and there is my Trick of Rooms. Okay, so now we can start clicking quote unquote Hyper Voice stuff. I'm going to try and remove. Um, the Crystal. I can also just technically remove Arcanine here. So T-Bolt could be a play. So this way he can't quote-unquote click his little Thunderbolt shenanigans. 
All right, and again, we're just gonna click Hyper Voice. Okay. Terra Electric Raging Bolt under Trick Room. Okay, no priority, can't E Speed. Okay, should deal some decent damage here. Bullet one shot, Arcanine. We'll see. Rehab Magnet. All right, first Hyper Voice, a little bit of chip, decent chip. Okay, we get that was a crit. Okay, then we have Thunderbolt. That should remove the Arcanine straight up. I want to say. Oh wow, it lives. Screens is broken, but we do get a pair. <laughs> I would love a pair. I got one. Can I, can can you get one too? Oh, all right. He missed. I'll take that. All right, he missed the bolt. Furgraph takes some damage. That's fine. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Dazzling Gleam. I think it's plus two. Furgraph eating it. We're eating it. All right. Um. So that Arcanine is as good as cooked. I want to try and deal some damage into the Cresselia, and I'm still going to click Hyper Voice over here. I'm trying to remove this thing with all my might. Okay, he has to switch. He might go into Sableye now. Who knows? Oh, he forgot about priority. Well, you tried your best. Okay, here's the Hyper Voice. A little bit. Oh my goodness, it's still living. All right, T-Bolt. All right, a little bit of chip damage here. Oh wow, that's doing no damage. Can I get a para? All right, he went for the Deagle. This is a, this is a little bit annoying. I got I got I got to say. All right. Um. So Furgraph goes down. We do have Ensign, so there's that. We could, that also intimidates Arcanine here. It's full health. Um, again, I can just raw Flare Blitz. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do my best here. Let's see. He had a lot of damage. Um, again, just T-Bolt looks pretty good here. He is quote-unquote slower. Um, like, what can he really do? Like, I he is slower, but so is my Incineroar. So let me just click Thunderclap. He can switch, but would he really? Would he? Oh, shoot. I can fake out the air. He might just go straight into Sableye. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Thunderbolt this slot. And let's just fake this. Uh, yeah, like, I feel like that's the safest play here. Okay. Arcanine couldn't move because it was paralyzed, so that's good for me. All right, and here is just a raw Thunderbolt. Okay. All right, so we get to we get a crit when it doesn't matter. So there's that. Um, so and we flinched the Cresselia, so we're 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 somewhat chilling. Somewhat chilling. Okay, and there is the Galarian Moltres at long last. Okay, um, first, the main threat. How many turns of Trick Room are left? One turn! I can Parting Shot here. And this way, all he's going to be left with is that that behemoth known as Moltres. He already Terran, so honestly, I think he just protects. I'm going to just do this. And listen, Instance Paralyze, I got one turn left. I'm going to Flare Blitz this Cresselia right off the face of the planet. There we go, we get the Flare Blitz off. Cresselia lives on one! Oh, baby, that's not good. <laughs> All right, but it looks like we can get a one Maybe we can get a one-shot on this Moltres. I don't know. Moltres, red and bulky. Okay, we do. Okay. I'm surprised. Unless he just clicked Lunar Blessing, but I think this is just straight D-Gleam. Oh, he clicked Lunar Blessing. That's a, that's a no-no. All right. Reflect is gone. Dimensions return to normal. Okay. Uh, so there, here is the Sable Eye. Okay, I mean, like, I want to click Raw T Bolt. So I will do that. Okay, and I just want to straight Flare Blitz this thing. <laughs> like, I don't know any other way around it. There's Shadow Sneak. That, unfortunately, is just not enough damage coming from Sable Eye in the endgame. That is, though, that one is enough damage. Okay. Oh, wow. I should have clicked. Wow. Hmm. Should I have clicked, you know, the, the Thunderclap? Maybe. But we'll see. 
That removes Cresselia. Now it's just one-on-one -on -one with Sableye. I do have knockoff and stuff. How does the Sableye beat Incineroar? So I think this is still fine. The only way I lose is if I get paired 16 times in a row. All right, so not like the cleanest game, all things considered, but still fine. Like, oh, I still have Chen Pao. Oh, wow, I'm Chen Pao. Yeah, <laughs> okay, we got... <laughs> all right, we got Chen Pao here. That's right, I thought I was down to one line. It's been a long day, I'm a little tired. All right, but we still must provide battle content. All right, so we just click Ice Spinner here. And Flare Blitz, and that's it. Cresselia, you did your best with your two Combines, but unfortunately, we have the best EVs. We have good bulk. We were able to take things. Oh my god, is this like an all-electric team, dude? What the hell? How are people... Listen, we we lost to Mono Bug, okay, in our other video. All right, it was like the third game of our other video. We're not losing the mono electric. Actually, Arcaludon is not mono electric. Uh, it's the only one there that's not electric. So this is mostly mono electric. Okay. Um, hey, look, if he wants to set the terrain, Raging Bolt gonna go bonkers. So if that's the case, listen, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it. Uh, the problem is there's a Raichu there. So that's also a problem. I, so maybe I can't bring it, actually. Um, well, I just have to remove the Raichu. Then I'm just straight chilling. So, honestly, I mean, Frigaf kind of looks good here. Just straight that. And then, again, Insane also looks pretty good here. Like, just, just these guys. And then Raging Bolt. And then, this is Urshifu over here. Right? Like, Surging Strikes, Ursh. I don't want to bring this against five Electric Mons. So, I think just Ogre Pond as, like, a little support option is going to be okay here. <laughs> right? <laughs> Right? Bringing a warded uh, mon into like five electrics. Okay. Um, was there anything there that gave Arcaloot on rain? Don't think so. There was a Kilowatchel for Tailwind, Raichu, Fake Out. Uh, is there any beat up there? I know there was just electric terrain, but that's it. What is this? Kilowatchel and Raichu. Holy cow. Well, no Fake Out coming out from that Raichu, that's for sure. Um, there's an Air Balloon. All right, now that Raichu does have Nuzzle, and I don't want to have to deal with that. So I kind of want to just set Trick Room here. All right, Fake Out. I can also do like Hyper Voice stuff, but I just think just trying to fake out this Raichu is going to be good. All right, I don't think there's any Terra Ghost shenanigans here. Uh, he didn't have anything to deny this Fake Out either. Unless he switches into Precurchin, uh, which is not the worst thing in the world if he wants to do that. Okay, he could do that, he should do that, but will he? You led this, what, what is this lead for game one? I don't know. Oh no, don't tell me this is Pink Kirchin. Is this Pink Kirchin? Bro, okay, he, he, I mean, it's obvious, right? You have to do it, you have to do this. All right, Electric Surge. Oh, he's actually gonna do a lot of damage. All right, we're gonna fake out. All right, we're gonna set our trick room. Volt switch, uh-oh, everything's switching. Where are we going? Where are we going here? I wanna just smash that pink urchin. I don't even know that thing stats. Ladies and gentlemen, do not use pink urchin. Once upon a time, oh, right two comes right back out here. Um, so this thing's gonna be slow. Uh, what if I just straight click raw hyper voice? 85, 90, it actually has some decent bulk. Okay, that being said, I think I want to just go straight Hyper Voice anyway. Just deal like good damage. Um, the right you can't click Fake Out. I want to just Parting Shot this thing and go right into Raging Bolt, ideally. See what he does. For Kirchin, going to do a lot of damage. Uh oh, there's no way you kill Perigrat. There's just no way. If you do, not the worst thing in the world. Is that Terra Water? Excuse me? All right, well, there is a Raichu on the field, so I guess that makes sense. Hydro Pump! Instant, it was nice knowing you. Maybe. Let's see. Bro, that was damage. All right, enjoy. All right, we popped the Air Balloon. 
Okay, right, you definitely click something. All right, and here's the parting shot. Well, uh, again, we can't really do a whole lot here. Um, the Raichu is going to be on the field. But eventually, we're going to start doing things. I can technically just go into you. I don't even have to bring in Raging Bolt, quote, yet. Uh, I just need to remove the Raichu first. So let me go here. Let me just put pressure on that little pink curtain dude. All right, let's get the Redirector on the field. Let's go Ogre Pond here. On core, I don't think he understands how that works. I think he wanted to try and encore these. All right, anyway, um, listen, helping hand's gonna be pretty good here, and uh, I think just follow me is also gonna be really nice, all things considered. Uh, I don't want to take a lot of damage. I want to protect the program as much as possible. Um, hold on a second there. That was not what I wanted. Own rank. Hang on here. All right, we'll just do the, the, the thing. Hold on. Wait. Okay. Okay. Oh, what, what was that? Is that discharge? I don't know. What was that? What did he click? Um. Something. I missed it. Was it discharge? Just no para? I think it was. Uh, yeah. Alright. Anyway, here's Kilowatcher. Look, this is the weirdest battle I've ever seen. Alright, uh, again, just raw hyper voice. Uh, I don't want to just Terra. I don't want to Terra just yet. Still click the follow me. I can even spiky shield tech. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm a spiky shield. Trick room's going to answer. I don't want to get parried on the Ogre Pond just yet. Alright. see what he does here. There is... Ah, it was discharge. Okay. He's trying for the pair hacks. Alright, but... Now that he's got his own kill watch, or Bolt Absorb, not really going to do anything here. Uh, just don't parry me. Alright, good. We're fine. Now we get to remove the Kinkurchin. And Farigarath. Looks like it's going to sweep this guy here. Alright. So we quote unquote get our little revenge against these mono teams. Alright. This guy must be getting ready for a global challenge. We may have fell to mono bug in the other video, but we will not fall to mono electric here. What is this? Palma? Oh shoot. I see, I see. Alright, well. Still one more turn of trick room. You can't click fake out. Your goose is cooked. Okay, I can even just psychic this thing. Um, but I don't think I need to. I just want to take out the Kilowattro here. I don't think that thing gets wide guard. I'm going to click Stomping Tantrum. That's going to be all she wrote. Okay. No wide... Oh, oh my god. Alright, the power of Throat Spray for Rigorath. Alright, and I am, I'm actually a little bit slower than this thing because of Trick. So that's even better. Palma, thanks for coming. You came in, you died. You didn't even get to click the fake out. Not that you could anyway, because we got Farigraph on the field. Raichu couldn't click fake out either. Um, so, Mono Electric. We got him. Alright folks, so there's the rental for our Defiant Ogre Pond squad. And it pretty much just plays like any kind of a Raging Bolt balance, right? You got your Fake Out, you got your Redirector, you got Urshifu, Chen Pao for pressure. Uh, Raging Bolt does a lot of damage with Magnet. Okay, Farigraph Throat Spray, also pretty solid. Uh, and nice little ladder tech right you know if you want to do like throw spray for graph stuff for best of one things uh but life orb ogre pond does a ton of damage okay you got to see it in action a little bit which is good the whole team actually got to do everything so uh that means there's good balance uh, for the squad you know all things considered uh so give it a go let us know how you do and if again you're trying to build a team for the global challenge okay or if you're trying to get a squad going for another upcoming regional uh if you're going to euic and you need a little bit of help Make sure you sign up for team building on the channel. It's our coaching tier sub uh, to tier three. Uh, so if you check the video description below, there's a link to join the channel with that tier three sub. Uh, and then also in the pinned comment section, there is the same link that you can join the channel with the tier three sub. All right, then you can join the Discord. Then you can message me on Discord. And then we do a one-on-one -on -one call and we get you the team that you need uh, for whatever purpose that you need it for. All right, but that's going to do it for now. We'll be back in another video. Peace out. Have a good one.